what's going on guys good morning and welcome back to another video hope you guys have all been doing well I'm talking a little quiet right now because I'm walking by all my neighbors houses and it's seven o'clock in the morning and everyone's asleep because where I live people like to party that's how joke but we're going today to one of the coolest cars and coffees I've never gone to go I would have went last time with Zach but I wasn't able to because I was super sick with the flu so today we finally get to do that I'm very stoked but Today's Monday guys, hope you guys all have a great week. Hope you guys get a strong start. You guys are maintaining. Work has been killing me. Shout out to all the people who work 12, 13 hour days because those 12, 13 hour shifts be hitting different than, than the eight hour boys. If it sounds like I'm rushing, well, it's because we are. This is a disaster. My phone's at like 4%. We have half a take at E85 to drive like 100 miles round trip. But I don't care. We're just going to rush over there, make it to the meet because I actually want to film some of the cars coming in. This one is also why we're always late. Hello. What's up in the world, honey? You're always making us late. Okay, first of all, he told me 7.10 and he came in the room at 7 o'clock with his backpack on. Are you ready to go? So, don't blame me. That's your fault. <laughs> See what I'm going to do with that, guys? It's October, which could only mean one thing. It has nothing to do with the car either. I realized I forgot to say who's hosting the Cars and Coffee this morning. It's called Sunday Steel. It's in a really nice part of Orange County called Laguna Niguel. We've been there a couple times. Whenever I make the joke of it's so nice that your credit score goes up, it's kind of in that area. Hopefully we see something cool. There's a lot of good mix. I've seen like a Millennium Jade R34 that sometimes goes like S15s, Lamborghini Countach's, like a very wide variety of cars. Hopefully we see a Countach, babe. I'm excited. I want to see a Countach with foamed out wheels. Good morning. Any better pastries for today? Uh, no, thank you. Okay, what can I get for you? Can I get a Grande Pumpkin Cream Cold Brew? Okay. And then a Grande, what's it? Ice Matcha. With two pumps of brown sugar. And with two pumps cream, of brown sugar. Sweet cream cold foam. And sweet cream cold foam. Okay. That'll be it. Alright, we'll see you at the window. Thank you. Thank you. Beverly Hills <laughs> recipe. You and your white girl pumpkin spice. <laughs> Easier to order than freaking goat milk oat sweetener. He got his white girl drink. Are you happy? And you didn't film me getting the cups. I'm just kidding. He got, he got butt hurt that I didn't film him getting the drinks from the people. So he almost yeeted my drink out the window. <laughs> You're in a rich area because the streets are wide enough for the Evo to make a U turn. Look at that. <laughs> you would almost think this thing is good turning right here. Turn right onto Ridgewood Drive. Alright, guys, we just got here. All these cars. Uh oh, the Kias. Better than. Where's the cat? It's over there. There's a guy with a cat here. It's so cute. It's a Siamese cat. <laughs> the Porsche section. Porsche. This has to be one of my favorite C6 Z06s I've ever seen. You guys probably can't really tell, but the man's got a crazy bucket in it. I want a fun grip driving car. This looks like it'd be fun. GT3 RS. Looks like an air-cooled Porsche, maybe. It's crazy. 
so much money. See, I told you my credit score would go up. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about, guys. These things will be worth so much money in the future. If anyone has them right now, especially ACR, mm -hmm. don't sell it. Now's not the time. Something I don't think I've ever noticed about the Viper makes crazy. It's got a side exit exhaust. Now I'm probably late to the trend, but... Dude, that's crazy. Dodge, why'd you discontinue this? More badass Corvettes. Look at this thing, wow. These things make me want a Corvette, guys. This thing is so badass. Wow. Stack lineup, look at this, Evo 4, NSX, E92 M3. We've seen this V10 or whatever Aston Martin that I commented in my last video that, or someone commented what it was, like several times, been to several car shows with that guy. It's funny. Damn, this is crazy. Video games in real life. Forza. I don't know much about RS colorways, but this is my favorite one I've ever seen. This green just looks so proper. I feel like it's just a European car thing. Chalk is also never could go wrong. What's your favorite thing? The cat. <laughs> no, the favorite car. I know. Um, the violet Porsche. Where? This one's your favorite? Yeah. Yeah, this one's pretty cool. Super cool. One of this is actually like a factory paint. Paint color came in. Maybe. It's really clean though. I like this one too. The red one? Yeah, this one's cool. I mean, these are all Porsches. Right. right. <laughs> Sick. Fitment on fleek with this thing, damn. This thing's sick. Thousands of dogs, literally thousands of dogs. Can we shave Obi Every like car show is 100 dogs and one cat. Well, there's one dog that's looking for you. This thing's probably one of the hardest colors to actually capture properly because it doesn't even look the same to the camera, but this thing is badass. Love the Recaros, half cage. Really nice examples of BMW stuff here. All right, guys, we left the cars and coffee because your boy's got to pee super bad, but this is how you know you got like a rich Target because they have a million charging stations. Target just opened, so it should be pretty empty inside. Got a little taggy buddy. That was arguably the nicest Target bathroom I've ever seen. <laughs> and now we're here. I feel like I have to listen. Alexis is a thing for really expensive candles. I'm getting the $5 one. That's still crazy. Um, it's not like I'm getting the if big one. you guys one. own a candle company, you rip off. But this this one smells so good though. I feel like pumpkin. This one smells really good. Fellas, this is not the section you want to see your lady in. You always get nervous. Like, what is this going to cost me? Um, it's my money that I'm spending. You guys, can someone tell me why this is a Target thing? You're over here, right? You're shopping, right? You're looking for cups. And then Mike decides to leave his drink, right? And then you find another one. Like, why is this like, why is that a thing at Target? Because people are disgusting, or lazy too, and they don't have the in the trash. Yeah, Mike. Thanks, Mike. Guys, this is the one I need right here. Fusca ball. So we left the Target. We're now in Rancho Niguel, which I didn't even know that was a thing. We're on the way to go get some 85. You guys can tell. I don't really got enough to make it 50 miles home, so kind of just driving through the zip code. We definitely don't belong because there's golf courses, tier one credit, Mercedes Benz. stressing out about finding 85 but my boy Sam put me on something called alternative fuel it's an app that you guys can download if you guys have any cars on 85 where it'll show you guys not only just Pearson but like propel a bunch of other companies that carry 85 
Woo! We got lucky today. Look at that, seven gallons for 25 bucks. Not bad. So we have made it back home, it's hours later now, and something I know for sure I haven't shown you guys that's like been an addition in like the past year, is a year ago, literally this month, Alexis and I went to a pumpkin patch and they had one of those like carnival games, and it was basically a game you throw a ping pong into like a fish bowl and inside the bowl like you win a fish. And I'm asking you guys if any of you guys are fish expert because this dude is huge. And I don't think he's a goldfish. When I got him, he was like literally like that big. And now he's just a big old Uncle Tito living his best life with the bubbles. Look at him. If anyone out there is a fish expert and knows what this thing is, please let me know because I've never known. And online there's so much mixed information. Look at that frog. He's trying to get away. He's like, hell no, nah, Tito be eating my food, dog. Get them away from me. I had a ton of fun today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know we didn't really get the most footage of cars in the world. It was a little hard just because the actual event was, it was big enough where there was a lot of cars to film, but it was small enough where there was like large crowds of people just walking in front of every shot. And it was actually quite difficult to film as much of the cars as I would have liked. But nonetheless, I had a great time. It's been a really long time since I've kind of taken you guys through like a day in the life and filmed more lifestyle stuff. Today wasn't like strictly cars and I had a lot of fun doing that. It's literally, I feel like it's been years since I've done something like that. Anyone who's been watching my channel for a long time, you guys know, I used to take you guys everywhere. Like whether I was like going to school, I was moving, there was like a lot of stuff going on. And it was just like a blast to take you guys along and just kind of like showcase like different things kind of through my point of view. Pretty soon I have a few interior things coming for the Evo which is exciting. Gonna tweak the interior a little bit, clean it up a little bit, pop the things and dents out and kind of like little stuff and I'll be filming that too. They're not gonna be like the most exciting things. Not the car spitting four foot flames on the dyno or something but uh, nonetheless I'm excited to kind of go through the meticulous process of I don't want to call it a restoration because when I think of restoration, like you strip it down to a bare chassis, but I'd be doing like the OCD process of making like my favorite Evo I've owned so far. Just because this one I feel like is the most beat up I've ever had. Uh, the first one mechanically had definitely been tweaked. You know, there's a lot of stuff rewired in and uh, kind of been tampered with. It was a car that was probably built at some point and then put back to stock. The second Evo 10 was absolutely perfect. I shouldn't have sold that car. It was really stupid to sell it uh, just because it only had 8,000 miles. And, you know, I did get a good offer for it, but looking back, I would have rather just kept the car than taken the money. The third one, you know, who I, the one I bought recently from an awesome guy named Andrew. Uh, really great car. It definitely is like a little beat up exterior wise, but mechanically, it's great. Like, it's perfect. Uh, it was a California car, which is what I wanted. Zero rust. There's nothing weird going on with the chassis. And it runs great. Everything works. Power steering, AC, all the functions, things like that. Engine's healthy. So, but with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I know it was a little sporadic and the timeline was kind of all over the place. But in the coming weeks, you guys will see more of those interior videos. Slow steps before we start going into the power performance. Because I'm kind of doing, I'm splitting it up like I'm doing the interior first and then I'm going to do the suspension, wheels, all that stuff and then uh, some some exterior stuff and then we're going to get into the actual crazy thing. And I still haven't even given you guys an update on where the Evo shop has moved. It's officially moved. Uh, things are pretty much, I think like 80% sorted, like 90%. I know like when uh, my buddy Sam first moved in, uh, the lift wasn't working and there was a bunch of stuff going on. But we'll get to that in the coming weeks, uh, kind of when... I get some of those parts in, we'll head over to the shop, show you guys the new shop, install some things, take you guys through that, and it'll be a lot of fun. So, with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, uh, follow me on social media with any questions like that, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.